Alright, hey there Proxy, this is Proxify here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Spirit Gold Wedlock. And in the previous episode, guys, we have basically went and battled out Chuck uh, in the last episode, and we also got ourselves the uh, special HM for Fly, which we can now be able to fly anywhere around the Johto region, and also into the Kanto region as well, but hopefully I can survive to the uh to the kanto region if uh, uh hopefully once we uh complete out the the elite four and everything uh with all of that uh but in this episode guys we are going to be doing uh, a little bit of some exploring uh with some other encounters of some pokemon uh also i am going to be picking up uh with a, a moonstone uh in this episode because i know where to find a moonstone uh in this game so we can evolve our uh, ninarino into nido king so that we can officially have king on the team now and all that and that's gonna be really fun um so uh also too i also did some off before grinding as well uh battled out some of the uh, uh swimmers and all of that uh around our area here around cianwood city um but yeah uh also too um we should be able to take on jasmine in this episode as well and get her mineral badge and uh, I think that's all the time that we have for the uh, for today. I don't think we're going to be able to head on over to Mahogany Town uh, in this episode, but maybe, in, but uh, but in the next episode we should be able to do that. Uh, but anyways, let's just go and do a team recap, get started off here, and uh, be on our way. So first of all, we got Sai, who's level 43, with Shadow Balls and Headbutt, Confuse Ray, and Sai Beam. We also got Nidorino, uh that has Peck, Focus Energy, Double Kick, and Poison Jab. We've got Magneton, or uh, or I should say Bolton, uh, that has Thunder Wave, Made to Fall, Discharge, and Supersonic. We've got Boo out here, who's level 43 with Headbutt, Billy Drum, Battle Throw, and Force Palm. And we also got Shelly, who's level 43 with Rain Dance, Muddy Water, Surf, and Mud Bomb. And also, too, we also have Robin in here, but not Lady. Uh, just for the time being, I'll put Lady back onto the team, but Robin, for right now, is going to be our flying Pokemon to actually uh, fly us back over to the Azalea Ruins, and uh, we can get started off from there. And also, too, I know where to find the, the HM for Rock Smash. Uh, it's just right near uh, the Azalea Ruins at the very top of that one uh, route before you head on into there. Uh, I think it's like between you going into where the pseudo wudu tree is and Azalea Town, or, or, or not Azalea Town, uh, the Azalea Ruins. But let's go and do that. So we're going to fly over to Violet City, because that is going to be our first destination here of the day today. And uh, also, too, hopefully you guys are also having a good Monday out here as well. Uh, just to let you guys know that you guys will be probably seeing a live stream happening out here today. Uh, so that is gonna be very awesome. Uh, you guys should be seeing that later in the afternoon uh, Once I uh, complete off here in the uh, in this episode of spirit gold wedlock and hopefully you guys are enjoying this series so far for me I'm actually uh, enjoying it so far um, We actually have five deaths so far, but that's just because of just the wedlock rules I'm pretty certain if we uh, uh, Didn't have these wedlock rules. We could have actually been actually um uh, living uh, throughout this whole entire game uh, pretty well so far without having to lose out on on that many Pokemon that w that we have uh, basically fainted so far but I don't know if in this game if Triano makes these um, starters basically um, return or whatnot but oh yeah hold on before I go and head on into there uh, let's go pick up the HM uh, for Rock Smash because I totally forgot about this and we have to talk to this uh, random dude over here Yo, you haven't had uh, trouble with the boulder blocking your way. Of course you have. Uh, for people like you, you can use an HM that will come into your rescue. So thank you. I don't know who I'm going to give this HMO6 Rock Smash to, but we'll see who is going to be our lucky victim of the day here. I could probably put it on one of my... Um... Well, let's see who can do it first. Because I think I could probably actually... Um... Put it on one of my uh, crap Pokemon. Ooh, Shelly can learn it, and Boo can also learn it, and King can also learn it. You know what? I think I'm gonna stick it on one of my uh, crap Pokemon out here before anything else. And Lyra, stop calling me, goddammit. What the heck? Oh, even the main characters even call you, and it's so bloody annoying. That's the one thing that I really hate about Gen 2 is that, like, once you start collecting everybody's phone numbers, they're all going to start calling you, like, every single 24-7. It, 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 it gets annoying a little bit. 
Now, let's see. Who is going to be the victim here? Who is going to get the HM? Um, I don't know. Can actually Toxic Crow can, uh, or no, not Toxic Crow. I mean, uh, Crow Gun can actually can Crow Gun win this? I don't know. Something tells me that I think Crow Gun can. So let's actually uh, just stick him in here for now. Don't worry, this Pokemon is not going to be a part of the layout or anything. Um, because it doesn't really match with any of the other Pokemon that we have here right now, but... Okay, so let's forget about uh, Mudslap over here so we can get started into grabbing our Moonstone for today. And then we can hop on right on into Jasmine's Gym. And... Ugh... I've seen what Jasmine's Pokemon are uh, for uh, this Sphere of Gold uh, playthrough, and her Pokemon are pretty crazy. Uh, this time around, she actually has a Metagross uh, that is a little bit temp uh, a little bit uh, scary out here. But um, but I think since we do have Boo and Steel type Pokemon, I believe are weak to fighting, uh, we should be able to uh, literally knock out Metagross pretty quickly. So I'm going to be using both Boo and I think also Magneton throughout this whole entire thing because she also does have a Skarmory as well. But the reason why that I have Rock Smash over here is because that we can go and uh, destroy both of these three different rock things here. So I'm going to go and try to see if I can find a um, Old Ember or a Fossil around here. And this is going to be uh, one Fossil that I would actually like to have as for a... Um, as for a fossil uh, encounter, because I would like to pick one up, and plus we could also get into a battle out here with a Pokemon as well. So this may probably take a, a few tries, but you can actually find some fossils over here. Okay, not right now. Hold on, we'll just keep on breaking some more of these stuff. It does take a little bit of while. Uh, it, it does take a, a little while uh, for these fossils to appear. You can also find uh, the other fossils uh, for the uh, Gen Three fossils uh, in the Safari Zone area as well. Oh, uh, Red Shard! Come on, man. That's no fossil. I would like to find an old Ember or um, or any of the uh, Helix fossils or Dome fossils. These, are, uh, yeah, you can find uh, the Helix fossil or Dome fossil here. Okay, but I'll uh, try this one right more time. Nothing. Wow. Okay. I guess finding those fossils are going to be very tricky. Because I know that I... I don't know if, if that's going to be like a thing that has to happen like at, like during the post game of Pokemon Heart Gold. But I know that you can find fossils in there. But if we head on over to this side over here, we can actually do a little bit of some exploring down here. And this is where we can enter into another uh, puzzly type area. What the heck is that? Um, I know that that has a T, that has an O, L, an I, lift? Is that what it spells? Does that speak lift? L, I, F, no. Hmm. Okay, guys, okay. so I am back. So, uh, basically what I had to do here is I had to grab out Snipes and, uh, Teach it, Flash, and we uh, basically light up our way and open up this door uh, way over here. And this is how we're going to be able to pick up our Pokeballs uh, and grab out our Moonstone. So there we go. That is our Moonstone that we got. We also got ourselves a Citrus Berry, which that's not too bad either. Got some Heal Powder too. Nice. And we also got ourselves an Energy Root as well. So... That is very good, but unfortunately we can't really use that at the moment because our bag is glitched, so Until we get our bag situated and everything I could hopefully use out both of those two items but um, I Didn't get to see this yet, but if you guys look over to the far left corner over here You could actually spot out a Mew and I don't know exactly on how we have to reach this Mew But I think what we have to do is head on over to I believe the Union Cave area and we should be able to head on all the way over here because we do have Surf now and we should be able to grab out this Mew. And I don't know if I have the right Pokeballs for the job, but... 
We have 10 Great Balls and 4 Pokeballs. So I don't know how hard this Mew is going to get captured. But that is going to be our first uh, legendary Pokemon out here. So I may probably uh, come back over to this. Maybe um, after Mahogany Town and all the shenanigans that we have to do with all that. Like doing like the Team Rocket stuff and and, uh, and, and whatnot. But, but, but that's very interesting. I'll come back over to here uh, once I... Uh, once I feel already that we can uh, go and do everything. Uh, once I feel like we completed everything over at Mahogany Town, we'll come back over here to the Azalea Ruins. Because that is awesome. We can actually go and pick up a Mew. But I just need to grab out the correct uh, Pokeballs as well. Because I would like to have some Ultra Balls. Because I don't know how hard this Mew is going get, to get caught out here. So we need to go and re-grab Robin out here once again. Um, uh, unfortunately, our rock smashing and all that, we could unfortunately get ourselves a fossil, but I will be doing that off recording, of course. So let's go ahead and put Snipes back uh, to where he came from, and we'll go ahead and grab out Robin. And we'll go and head on over to Jasmine now. And I should probably also, uh, evolve, um our uh, Nidorino, of course, as well. Because I was going to do that in this episode. Snipe, there you go. Just going to put you away in the meantime. I don't know why, but it seems like my game sometimes glitches out a little bit, but it's all good. The good thing is, is that we're actually able to uh, um, basically save and everything, so that's pretty nice. Uh, so let's go to our bag over here, and let's go grab out our Moonstone. Oh yeah. King, here you go, man. And here he is, guys. King is back on the team once again. But unfortunately, King doesn't have the moveset that, that I would like for him to get uh, taught out here, but... Earth Power, that's actually not too bad. I should actually use that move. Because um, I believe, if, if I'm not mistaken, I think Earth Power is also super effective for the, uh, for the Steel-type Pokemon out here as well. But there we go. Wow. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and fly all the way over to Olivine City. And let's go pick up that next badge. Thank you, Robin. Okay. Let's go grab out our Ladybug. But you know what? I have to say, our Ladybug is actually not... Or, or not Ladybug, but our Lady Inn is actually uh, pretty cool. It has a nice moveset, though. Uh, hold on. We need to uh, move it to the next box over here. There we go. Alright, Robin, let's put you back to the PC. And we should also probably get healed on up as well, just so that I could at least have all my Pokemon all healed up and ready to rock and roll. And awesome and um, I guess the question of the day would probably have to be is what is your favorite um, uh, new typing in generation 2 uh, is it uh, is it steel or is it dark because those are the the two uh, new typings that came out uh, in generation 2 at the time so uh, let me know in the comments down below do you like using uh, uh, what, what's your favorite typing uh, for gen, uh, uh, for for the new gen 2 typings is it steel or is it dark type um so let's go out into good old boo out here of course now let's get situated with him oh right yeah okay um that totally reminds me. We have to go and head back to the lighthouse. 
Okay, so, well, uh, will the medicine cure Effie? Yes. And there you go, Jasmine. Uh, please don't be offended. Effie will not take anything for anyone but me. Effie, how are you feeling? Oh yeah, and he's back up in action. Hey, and now the room is actually very bright in here now. Thank you so very much. I will return to the gym. Alright, and let's go do the whole battle thing now. So it looks like Effie is all cured up now. And now people can actually go and use the harbor now. Which is pretty nice. So we arrived at the first floor, yes. So now, um... Oh, of course, now we got Beoba now. Hi, Prox, this is Warrior Beoba. Sorry to keep you waiting, but we finally opened up the Safari Zone. Oh, no. Well, if you guys know what that means, uh, we may probably be heading on over to Safari Town next. Um, in the next... Uh, well, actually, no, I won't do it in the next episode, because I would like to head on over to Mahogany Town and do all the stuff there. So, we may probably get to see uh, us going to the Safari Zone a little bit later on throughout the episodes. But let's head on into uh, Jasmine's gym, because all there is is really, like, no battles in here. Uh, you basically get, you get to talk to other uh, guys, uh, all the different uh, people that are in here, and they give you... Uh, like, like, a, give you some words of encouragement. So, I knew they come here. Thank you for helping the gym leader out for the battle. It is a separate matter. So, go for it. Well, thank you. Uh, I know how capable you are from the lighthouse. Uh, it is time that you show that side of yourself to Jasmine. So, good luck. And here we go. I remember, uh, Jasmine wasn't really that all hard uh, of, a, uh, of a gym trader. Uh, in the original Pokemon Heart Gold game, but since we're playing Spirit Gold, of course, there always has to be some sort of Pokemon that's going to probably literally destroy up my whole entire team, so. There always has to be one death somewhere that's going to happen. So do you know what the Steel type is? Uh, they are very hard, cold, sharp, and really strong. Um, I'm not lying. Okay, Jasmine, let's do this. What Pokemon are you going to send out first? I actually do have the Quick Claw on our uh, guy out here right now. Alright, so we should probably go out for Force Pog. Nice, our Quick Claw actually pops, so that is pretty cool. Grass Dot, huh? I thought you would be having at least some sort of other move on you. Alright, well, thank you for setting up Raid Disc, because if I had out, um, had a Shelly, we, we would have been doing some pretty... We would be doing some, uh, some double damage with, uh, with our, uh, with our Water-type attack. So Scarry's coming out of here. Uh, well, of course, we have bolts on, so... We do have ourselves an electric type person out here. Okay, so let's go for a discharge out here. That should basically knock out Skarmory pretty quickly. And that does it. Yes, thank you. Alright, I think that's like the one Pokemon that is a little bit tricky on her team. Man, now I really wish that I had out Shelly out here now. Steelix. That's not going to be all that too bad either. But I know that her Metagross is going to probably become a problem. So let's go for a Force Palm out here. I may probably want to set up a Belly Drum, but I don't know if that's going to do anything. Ooh, thank God that missed. Alright. We should probably set up a Vile Throw. Is that going to do anything? Uh, wow. Okay, you know you're going to make us lower our defense out here. Come on, knock it out, please. Oh, so close. Oh, man. 
I think I, I, I think I may probably want to risk it, but, um, but I don't think I, I feel that I want to really do that right now. All right, so let's super potion up, or not super potion, but hyper potion up here. It's gonna probably land on another iron tail, of course. Okay, aqua tail. What the heck, man? Oh, right, yeah, because of that. Can I land out my move first? All right, thank you. Just get this annoying Steelix out of the way. Thank you for that. So Matang. Okay, so it's not even a Metagross. It's a Matang. Yeah. Okay. But I think Matang should be fine. I don't know if he's going to have anything that's going to deal any type of water type attacks out here. Magnet Rise? Well, you know what? We don't really have anything that, that deals with levitating attacks, so we don't really have, like, Earthquake or anything. But I know we had that on, uh... Ooh, Iron Head. Ouch. What the heck, man? Get out. Oh, thank you. The rain has stopped. Another Iron Head. Don't get a crit. Whatever you do, because I'm going to... Ugh. I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably... Probably scream. <laughs> right. Awesome. Got Mawile coming out here, too. Um... We should probably switch on out. I just want to get my, uh... My guy all healed up and whatnot. But we do have an energy root, which I am going to use. And I think that actually fully heals up my guy out here too, which that's very handy. Ooh! Alright, we better get this guy out of here before it starts doing anything. Uh... There you go, supersonic. Or, no, we got paralyzed. Oh, why you miss? Okay, so let's just go ahead and switch on out of here. We'll go into Boo here instead. Nice. Okay, so it's paralyzed. Great. We'll go for a vital throw. Yes! Alright. Just stay like that, my wallet. and don't move! Hey, that's super effective. Come on, just land it and knock it out, please. Oh. Of course you did. Well, you know what? That's fine with me. Because I do have more vile throws up on my arsenal. Ah, oh, so close! Come on. Ooh, Iron Head. And plus that is doing good do some extra damage out here too, because of double of the uh Nice. Okay, so that mod wall is out of here. Magneton. Okay, well we're gonna just switch out into here. And we'll just quickly use our uh, super potions. So, soup potion up here. Oh, now you said I have a raid dance. What type of mood do you have on you right now? Oh, yeah, thunder, great. Holy. I can't be switched out. What are you talking about? 
Uh oh. Well, that's not good. I need to be. I, well, unfortunately, I can't switch on out. So we'll just let this thing go and use all of its thunders. And hopefully that the rain can stop. We have enough potions out here, which I think we can stall this thing out a little bit. This Mataton is being really annoying. Alright, that does give us a little bit of a chance out here. I think I could probably uh, Super Sonic this thing out here too. Come on, really? Okay, well, we're gonna go out for a discharge. I don't know how much that's gonna do, but... Thanks for that. But not to worry, because we'll just, uh... Okay. I don't know if heal powder's gonna... There we go, we cured over our problem over there. Oh no, no, okay. Oh great, thank you. I'm gonna be paralyzed out here once again. Well, hopefully this made us talk to get paralyzed out here as well. Come on. Oh, great. Okay, thank you. That's perfect. So I think it's just going to probably waste out another turn. How does Thunder keep on landing, though, even though that you're... I would like to land out a supersonic, but apparently I... Ooh, there we go. No! How can I not be switched out? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, well hopefully Thunder can miss. I hate getting paralyzed. That's like the worst thing ever in this game right now. Oh, please stop, dude. Yes, it missed. I right, thank you. Just mi keep on missing again. Uh, what are you gonna do this time? Oh no, this is where we may probably die, unfortunately. Oh my god, we're still living on one! Yes! Oh my god, I love you, Bolton! Thank you! Oh my god, we are living on one! Oh. oh my god, I ran out of all potions and everything! Oh. Yes, we didn't have to lose another Pokemon! You are a better trainer than me, in both skills and kindness. In accordance with league rules, I confer upon you this badge. Yeah, we did it, guys. Get out of here, man. So we got a 23. Is that going to be Iron Tail? Uh, Iron Tail is an alright move, but I don't know who I would put it on to anyways. But let's get the heck on out of here. Alright guys, so I'm going to end on this episode here for today. In the next episode, we are going to make our way over to Mahogany Town. But before even uh, reaching Mahogany Town, we're actually going to get uh, to be able to see Suicune once again over near Mount Mortar. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the first destination that we're going to be heading on over to. And uh, I believe we can also go and grab out a few encounters as well. And also um, head on over to the Lake of Rage next. Because I'm pretty certain that we can't even head on over to the Team Rocket hideout yet. Not until we do the Lake of Rage thing and meet up with Lance and everything. 
So hopefully we have enough time to uh, make it over to Lance. Uh, but anyways, don't forget to comment, like, also subscribe. I'll see you guys next.